Well, we've just jumped on a ferry at Circular Quay in Sydney and we've come across the beautiful Balmain where we'll be checking out the first of two locations for the 1974 cult film Stone. Stone is considered one of the earliest exploitation films as well as being regarded by many as the ultimate biker film. The film was directed by Sandy Harbert, who also starred along with Ken Shorter as Stone. The film also starred Hugh Keys Byrne, Rebecca Gilling and Roger Ward. So after witnessing a political assassination, members of the motorcycle gang The Gravediggers are being murdered. And it's up to a cop to try and earn their respect and join up with the infamous gang to find out who was responsible. So this first location we're looking at is an old pub known as the Fourth and Clyde, which back in the 60s and 70s had a reputation for being a bit rough and tumble. In the film, the Fourth and Clyde is the local watering hole and haunt for the gravediggers and plays a big part in some key sequences in the film. So this is the Fourth and Clyde Hotel. Well, it was known as the Fourth and Clyde Hotel. It's, um, it's up for lease now. I don't think it's operated for a number of years. It's been renovated at some stage, the sandstone. The walls have been overlaid. And it looks in pretty good nick. You'll notice the Fourth and Clyde inscription at the top. Get the uh, biker brawl out the front between the Black Hawks and the Grave Diggers. So you'll notice in the film that um, all the properties on the right hand side of the street there, well nothing was there um, back in 74 so these have all been built later. So there's a few shots in the film from taken from this angle of the brawl and looking across here and you'll notice that uh, a lot of those dwellings there were not there and this is basically just waterfront you can see a large passenger ship in the background so a lot of this has been built after 1974 but you can still see the water down there so a lot of these trees have grown up over time Let's just take a walk up here and see if we can identify some more of the older buildings that would have been here back in the day. You'll notice the house next to the hotel on the right has pretty much remained the same after all these years. Even the original railing seems to have survived. Star Hotel, I'm pretty sure that was here back in the day. You can clearly see that in the film as the bike is right up past it. So that's the old Fourth and Clyde Hotel at Balmain. Not a hotel anymore, and up for lease. Ironically, you'll notice the um, 
stained commercial real estate sign there on the balcony, which has a nice little eerie coincidence. again we've hopped on a ferry and this time we've come over to Mossman to walk from Sydney's to Ronga Zoo to Balmoral Beach. Along the way we'll come to our second stone location and that's at the Middle Head Defence Fortifications Battery which was built in 1871 in its strategic location to fire at enemy ships if they ever attempted entry through Sydney Heads. So after the grave diggers start being systematically knocked off one by one, the gang used the middlehead location as a safe house and hideout to protect themselves. So I've actually made it to um, Middlehead and we're walking out to the military battery emplacement at the end of the head and The reason we're here is because this was the lair of the grave diggers. So I'm sure in the film there's a shot here where two of the grave diggers approach on a motorcycle and there's a uh, an armed guard just standing here and I presume they gave them a password. We came down this road here. You remember this, eh, babe? And when they rode their bikes down here. started getting knocked off, huh. we moved in here so we could protect ourselves. I mean, we got cat station all over the place. Come on, let's go. out to the back. They enter from the road up there, the dirt road, and they come down the ramp. And then there must have been a cut made in the film where they come down the ramp and enter the tunnel. So when you go through the tunnel, you go under the ground. But in the film, it cuts to this section here, and you'll actually see the bike rider come in through here. And you can clearly make it out in the film because there's a one of the bike guards is sitting in the sitting in the window box here, just like this, as the bike makes its way down there. So all these locations here we used in the film. And we're just going to go explore. The labyrinth of tunnels around here. Because everything's gated up. Of a grave digger. It's 
spend his R&R &R down here. <laughs> Think he could like it. A lot of the uh, tunnels are gated up. There's a, a rare bent wing back that inhabits these old dugouts around here. God. The amount of building that went on down here. See if we can see any bent wing bats. Is that one up there up the end on the roof? Yeah, you think so. 1871. I'm inscribed on the wall up here. Yeah. Beautiful view at the Sydney Heads. So this gun emplacement here was uh, used for Stone's initiation scene. He earned the trust and respect of the grave diggers and was sworn in as one of the gang, given his colours and yeah, an ear piercing from hell. Nice big yacht coming past there. Try them on for size, mate. Yeah. They'll never know your true identity. Yeah. Better put through the washing machine a couple hundred times first, eh? Yeah. You do that, man, you ruin a good set of originals. Yeah, you kill their character. Anyway, the Phantom never washes his suits. <laughs> I haven't seen him. <laughs> shot looking out the heads there. What a beautiful way to go to work. Yeah, with your head stuck in a newspaper. They catch the fastest boat they can so they don't have to look at the view. <laughs> well, I suppose if you went past it every day of your life, you'd get bored too. That's why you gotta keep moving. Oh,
Beach on a Wednesday afternoon with a nice cold photo sitting in the sun and just enjoying the view. So, see you for the next uh, location video. Say what?